When I was a kid, I used to love the Hard Henry series. I read the books by Francesca Simon a lot and watched the cartoon religiously when it aired on CITV. I even collected the DVD compilations. So when I found that there was going to be a Hard Henry movie coming out, 11 year old me was excited. And it really pains me that I used to like this piece of garbage. So after 10 years of this existing, I had a bit of a rewatch on Netflix. And how did I feel after watching it? None good. As I'm not a negative Nancy, I will have to go on to what I liked about this movie. The soundtrack was actually pretty good, whether they be licensed tracks, tracks from the cartoon in it, including the theme song It's Not Easy Being Me, or Gonna Be A Rockstar, probably the best thing of this movie, or Peter's Frere Jacques rendition. I thought Theo Stevenson as Hard Henry was okay, and that Dick and Don were pretty enjoyable and hamming it up quite a bit. That's all I can say as positive, unfortunately. There's a lot of shit in here. A major problem with the movie is that it feels cliched and predictable. The story is basically a rival school called Brick House wants to close down Ashton Primary School so that they can force kids to go to their school instead, and because of that, Henry has to go into an attempt to save his school. This is a cliche that appears so much, and this movie does nothing to deviate from that formula. The sets are odd, as they don't resemble much from the books or the cartoon. Same can be said for the cast. Some characters look like they're counterparts from the cartoon, and some don't. Speaking of the cast, their acting can be pretty awful, as some of them underact to hell or overact like crazy, like Margaret at points. And this is the most surprising even from the famous actors like Angelica Houston, Noel Fielding, and Richard Grant. The CGI, while not frequent, is abysmal. The biggest offender being when Henry transformed into the dinosaur. It was shockingly bad. It left me wondering what the hell was that doing in a proper theatrically released movie. The jokes are awful as well. I don't think I laughed at any of them. Most of the jokes involve toilet humor, which is of course an easy way to just make kids chuckle a tad, which is just pathetic. This movie is so contrived and cliched as well, as there are just so many deus ex machinas in this movie, especially when Henry is playing in Too Cool for School. Oh yes, Fang just so happened to be in the set and eat the stew, and Margaret just so happened to have another yo-yo so that Henry could pull the lever. The ending is one of the most anticlimactic I've ever seen. Henry just has to spell homework for Miss Battleax. Lame. And the school doesn't even use the money Henry wins, as Peter performs a call to Miss Oddbot on Vic Van Winkle's evil plot and that causes her to kick the inspectors out. What a waste of time. And it even ends in a dance number, which is also a really big cliche. I would honestly think it would work better if it was animated. I mean, the direction feels like how a cartoon would be. Yeah, it wouldn't be something like South Park Big or Longer and Uncut or the Spongebob Squarepants movie, but it would at least be better. And one of the scenes where Henry and Margaret were escaping Our Lady Gideantis was recreated in the cartoon anyway, so it is possible. If I could go back in time and prevent myself from watching any movie, this would be it. If it didn't have such a big connection with me, then maybe I would have given this a 1, but no, because of how much it messed with my little naive mind and my big connection to the movie, this is getting a 0.5 out of 5. Happy 10th anniversary, you hard movie.